I'd like to talk about what we'll be learning in this course. We'll start with a blank screen and proceed all the way through to building this complex walkie-talkie model that you see before you. Now I chose a walkie-talkie because I think it gives us a very nice, complex form that we have to build, and yet there are technical challenges getting the buttons correct, bezels, a screen, the speaker grill, and many parting lines where we have different material types coming together. So throughout this course, as we're building our walkie-talkie, I'm going to be talking about different ways to build things. Sometimes I'll build things in one or two different ways and explain to you why one way might be a better way to build things than another. Now I'm working in Rhino 5, but wherever appropriate, I will mention how Rhino 4 will treat things differently so that you're aware of it if you are working in Rhino 4. And if you've ever gone through tutorials before, they always work great on screen, but when you're working on your own projects, things never go quite so well. So we're going to look at certain instances where certain commands that we try to apply don't work, and what do we do to work around those issues? I think that'll give you a great background in how to build your own designs moving forward. So we'll start out very simple. We'll just begin importing some sketches to draw over. We'll draw our curves. We'll build simple surfaces. And then we'll start to modify those surfaces. And then we'll start to cut and add more detail into the project. Towards the end of the course, where we have our walkie-talkie model finished, I'll then show you how to break apart the layers. And then we'll take the model into KeyShot, explain how to apply materials, adjust the lighting, and set up the renderings so you can make a photorealistic rendering of your walkie-talkie. So I believe this is a very helpful course that'll show you not only how to build a complex walkie-talkie, but how to apply those concepts to build your own professional models and create your own professional renderings moving forward. Let's go ahead and get started.